the truth. Will you just shut up? What is your problem? Do you know me? Look, I think we should all just mind our businesses here. Let's face what we came here to do. I'm sorry. Just take it easy. Yes, come in. Good morning, ma'am. Good morning, Chris. The interviewees are in the waiting room. Do you have anything to say to them before their interview starts? Yes, I do have something to say to them. Give me a minute, I'll join you. All right, ma'am. I don't understand why we are in this empty room. I thought we all came here for an interview. Yes, uh, you know, the receptionist said we should wait here, that this is where the interview will hold. In this empty room? You know, I actually know the company has a good reputation. So, I'll just do whatever I can to secure the job. No one came here to lose the job. I'm also here to get the job. And who knows? You might not be the one getting it. And you might not also be the one either. <laughs> Just forget it. I am going to get this job. And no matter what obstacle that is going to stop me, I am ready to do anything. Even if it means me going an extra mile for it. Extra mile? What do you mean by extra mile? Anyways, my moral standard comes first. Well, that is your problem. Good morning, everyone. Good, Good morning. morning. OK, so I would like to all know that this is where the interview will be held, in this room. Oh, are you saying we're all going to go in for the interview and come back here? You all are going to sit here and interview yourselves. You will listen to each other's stories. This is how it happens here at this organization. And I'm sure you already know what kind of business we run here. Do you understand? So what is the selection? Don't worry about that. All you have to do is to tell each other your stories. So the person with the most touching story will get the job, which means every other applicant will have to step down for the person to get the job. I really don't understand, Ma. OK, let me make it clear to you. Assuming I come to you and I tell you that my leg is hurting me, and then you tell me your horn has been amputated, meaning my own leg is just hurting me, it's definitely going to get better. Unlike yours, that has already been taken out. So, who should be the one to step down? The one with legs, of course. Then who should be the one to get the job? The one with no leg. Good. So, your interview starts now, and you only have one hour to do it. And if anyone refuses to leave, that means you all are going to lose the job. But should in case anyone leave, please let them wait at the reception. Thank you. Good luck, everyone. Thank you, Ma. Thank you, Ma. Thank you. Let's go. Wow. This is the most sweetest interview I've ever been to. So let's start. I'm an orphan. Oh, come off it. We all know you're not an orphan. You just made this story up right now. I think it would be best if you all say the truth. Will you just shut up? What is your problem? Do you know me? Look, I think we should all just mind our businesses here. Let's face what we came here to do. I'm sorry. Just take it easy. I'm sure she doesn't mean it that way. Are you insane? Don't you all listen? Like, you, you all don't just listen? <laughs> sorry about that. Just continue. Thank you. You're welcome. Like I said, I'm an orphan. I really need the money from this job. I need to get a house. I need to take care of myself. 
I really need to fix up a lot of things. Well, I'm sorry for the other time. I lost my sister and her husband in a car accident. And she left her three kids for me to cater for. Right now, I'm the one to feed them and pay their tuition fees. This is my own story. Ah. So, I'm supposed to pity you because you have children you need to take care of. Well, um, I'm so sorry about that. Your crook story will never work for me. And let me make this clear right now. I am not leaving this job for any of you. The worst that will happen, we will all lose this job. That simple. Well, I know I'm in a bad situation. Instead of me to just wait here and everyone lose their job, I just rather leave. Yeah. You better do that. Leave. You don't need to leave. I need to leave. I can't stay here and the time runs out and all of us lose the job. It's better you leave. Very good. It's just the three of us now. One more person steps down, then it remains I and the smart one, and it's just the both of us that's going to get the job. So I can't wait to see who the smart one is. Definitely. We all know the smart one is, because that's definitely me. <laughs> <laughs> well, that's your business. Just be smart. Definitely I will. So, this is my story. My sick mom is in the hospital. She has ingrowth in her lungs. And she needs to undergo surgery. I, 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 I was told our first salary will be $3,500. And that's the same price for the surgery. I really need the money, please. I. I sincerely need it. I need to save my sick mom's life. Wow. That's so sad. <laughs> I am so sorry about that. I'm just a graduate. I live with my parents and I have no obligations. I just needed the job. But the instruction says the one with the worst situation will stay and have the job. So I think I will need to take my leave now. Please do. <laughs> oh my god. Oh. That was no hard at all. You know, I never knew you were so smart. Really? <laughs> <laughs> you know, my story was all made up. I stole my mom and I just want to earn my own money. Seeing the interview, I know what it requires. I just need to, you know, be smart and play along. <laughs> Definitely, I'm not stepping down for anyone. Wow. I never knew you were this smart. You keep saying this. <laughs> I can't believe some people are not ambitious. Because why would they give up the position just like that? You should know they are just dumb and stupid. Smart people rule the world. Exactly. That simple. <laughs> wow. <laughs> I see that you two only are the ones left. Good. Chris. Ma. Please get me the other candidate at the reception. Of course, ma. Well, the truth is, I told you that I only needed to employ two candidates. But of course, I can employ all of you. And as a matter of fact, you all have been selected for this job. We only wanted to know who will be able to carry the spirit of our motto in them. And as you have read the brief, can you all remind me what the motto of this company is? Selflessness, Selflessness, and, Selflessness and love leads the way. 
Good. We wanted to see how many of you will be selfless and caring enough. Ma'am, we don't understand you. Well, I watched and listened to everything that happened in here. I watched how these two stepped down for both of you despite their conditions. And more so, you both lied. So, everything was just a test of selflessness. But Ma, you should have told us what was involved. I'm sure I would have passed. Well, that is why it was a test. Miss Jenny, Mr. Sam, congratulations to both of you as you have gotten the job. Thank you for showing your selflessness and your care. It's duly appreciated. Thank you so much, Ma. Thank you, Ma. Miss Cora and Mr. Franklin, please you can leave. Please, Ma'am. family i'm sure you just enjoyed that amazing video and if you did don't forget to like share comment subscribe and turn on post notifications bye, bye.